Next tonight, Cristiano Ronaldo has announced the heartbreaking news that his newborn son has died. The footballer was expecting twins with his partner, Georgina Rodriguez. She's given birth to a baby girl, which the couple say has given them strength to feel some hope right now. When well, Anina Dami uh, joins us now with, with more on this. Anina, this is so, such sad news. What more can you tell us? Yeah, well, silence is a sound no parent of a newborn wants to hear, uh, but thousands do, as around 13 babies die every day in the UK, according to the charity San. And yesterday, the legendary footballer Cristiano Ronaldo announced the loss of one of his newborn twins. In a statement online, he said, It's with our deepest sadness we have to announce our baby boy has passed away. It is the greatest pain that any parent can feel and that they're devastated at his loss. And his club, Manchester United, said that his pain is their pain. And they said... Family is more important than anything, and Ronaldo is supported by his loved ones at this immensely difficult time. Cristiano, we're all thinking of you and sending strength to the family. And, I mean, online you get a real sense of solidarity for Ronaldo and his family at a time when many feel isolated. And that's one of the feelings that Peter felt when he shared his experience. He and his wife had a stillborn uh, named Thomas, and he shared his and their experience with us. We're already planning for the future, you know, what school might our baby go to, you know, if we have a son, is it is it is it going to be like me and you know a big sports fan and want to play sports and, and things like that? And then after that, when you when you lose your baby when your baby's stillborn, it's you you're trying to plan a new future, but you're also left with the the, the what ifs. Our, our grief was different on different days. There were some days where I, I could get out of bed and sort of feel relatively normal, like I could cope with the day. Um, I'd, I'd know that my wife wasn't quite in that in that same place, and vice versa. There were days where I just I'd wake up and I just want to pull the duvet back over my head, and sort of the expression of like, well, you know, I, I didn't want an adult that day. I just wanted to to be left alone. And it's you, you just for, for me and my wife, we just had a lot of talking to each other um, to, to get through those those first days and weeks and months, and and try and work out what your new normal is going to be. And then it sounds like talking is such an important part of the healing process. Yeah, completely. And that's what the charity Sands advised when we spoke together earlier. Nobody's grief journey is identical. Everybody is, is different. But I think that, that coming together with others, and as Peter so beautifully said, different days, you can feel different things. But if you're with a group of people who've been through the same experience and are on the same journey as you, they'll understand that. I mean, it is important to also remember that Ronaldo has had a newborn twin, a baby girl, and in his statement, he also said, only the birth of our baby girl gives us the strength to live this moment with some hope and happiness. And some parents may be grieving at the same time as having to be present for their other children. And, you know, that was the same for Peter. He did have a son after Thomas named Harrison, and he said they talk openly about the fact that Harrison's got an older brother. And both Peter and the charity Sands recommended talking openly and emphasised the message that no one is alone in this. OK, Anila, thank you. Well, if you are affected by this story, you can find help and support at the charity Anila mentioned, Sands. Their website address is on the screen now.